Hi there, I'm Kim and I am so excited for our first ever meeting of the cooking club. What this is, is it is a real time cooking class. So I'm going to tell you all of the ingredients you need, all of the kitchen tools you'll need, and then on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join me on Instagram Live, and I will walk you through step-by-step step, making an entire recipe start to finish in real time. So that means we're gonna pour a glass of wine, and I'm going to keep you company through all of the chopping onions and waiting for the water to boil, <laughs> all of the stuff that you don't see them do when you watch cooking shows on Food Network. It also means that if you have any questions as we work, you can comment on the video and I can answer you in real time. So I know that right now a lot of people are probably feeling anxious, um, a little uneasy, maybe a little lonely. I know that personally I've lost my three side jobs in the past week and I don't know what comes next and I have been anxiety cooking and anxiety baking <laughs> for the past week. So I thought that the first recipe we should make should be comfort food. It should be something simple, something that makes you feel good, uh, something that you already have in your pantry waiting to go. So uh, on Thursday, we are going to make the best boxed pasta I promise you, you have ever had in your life. great foundational recipe and you can riff on it endlessly once you learn the basics. I'm going to be making spaghetti bolognese, uh, but you can make this meatless, you can add veggies, you can use gluten-free boxed pasta, you can switch up the sauce base. If, if you don't have spaghetti, you can use whatever pasta you have in your cupboard. It's super easy, it's super inexpensive, but I promise you, after you learn this, you will never use jarred sauce again. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Don't worry about writing these down. Um, I'm going to put a list in the description for you. Um, so, here we go. First, box pasta. I'm gonna be using whole wheat spaghetti, but you can use whatever you have in your kitchen right now. Um, I am gonna try and do something fun with plating. That's why I chose spaghetti. Um, but if you want to use a different kind of noodle, you'll just skip that step. Um, so this is whole wheat spaghetti. You can use regular, you can use gluten-free, whatever you've got. Um, next, I'm gonna be making my version uh, bolognese style, which means with ground beef. Um, if you want to do yours vegetarian, just skip this step. Um, if you want to add vegetables, you can also do that. This recipe is great with squash, zucchini, yellow squash. Um, you can throw in broccoli, you can throw in mushrooms, you can throw in carrots. This is really a sort of whatever you've got in your fridge kind of recipe. Um, I'm going to be making it with ground beef. Uh, I recommend using at least 10% fatty, so like 90-10. 85.15, but again, if you can't find that, whatever ground beef you can find, this has been frozen in my freezer, so I'm gonna stick this in the fridge right now to start thawing so it's ready for Thursday. Um, you want one pound of ground beef. Um, the next important thing, canned tomatoes. So my favorite tomatoes to use are the San Marzano tomatoes, and you wanna read the label and um, make sure that they are actually from San Marzano. Um, again, Use whatever tomatoes you have in your cupboard right now. Um, if you have the little 14 ounce cans, you want two of them or one of these big guys. Um, the San Marzano just taste better. They're really fresh. Um, they take them straight off the vine and put them straight in the can. So sometimes these are even fresher than the produce that you get sitting in the fresh section of your grocery. So um, again, San Marzano canned tomatoes. These are whole um, if you want to get diced or pureed, that's fine too, but I like the whole ones. Next, one onion. Uh, I like yellow onions, white, whatever. Don't get red, but yellow or white, all good. Um, three or four cloves of garlic. Garlic's just a good staple to have in your pantry all the time. One carrot, um, or even half a carrot if that's all you have. Um, that's great, it'll make the sauce a little sweet. Really nice. Um, On to the seasonings. So, um, 
we are going to use Italian seasoning. I love this stuff because it's pre-mixed. If you don't have Italian seasoning, any combination of basil, oregano, sage, marjoram, rosemary. Let's put some herbs in. It'll make it taste good. Um, don't have to be super picky about what you what you use. Um, also, if you happen to have it, fresh basil is great. It's gonna make it look pretty on the plate. Um, if you don't have fresh basil, all good. Skip it. Uh, Parmesan cheese, if you want cheese. Again, if you're vegetarian, vegan, you can skip this step. Um, that's great for topping and looks good on the plate. Salt and pepper, easy peasy, straightforward. Uh, olive oil, again, easy peasy, straightforward. And finally, I am going to be pouring myself a glass of wine while we cook, so feel free to join me. All right, on to kitchen tools. So, pretty basic. Good cooking knife, chopping board. You're gonna wanna want one pot, and this is gonna need to be a pretty big pot, probably at least six cups, because you're gonna uh, put your pasta in here. And also, one pan. And again, you want this to be a pretty big pan, because we're gonna be putting everything Finishing it off in here, pasta, sauce, everything. Um, so a nice big pan, the biggest one you've got. Um, spatula, straightforward. Um, you're gonna want something that has like a slotted spoon um, that you can use to drain pasta out of. If you don't have a slotted spoon like this, you can always just use a regular old colander, um, but I'm gonna be showing you a technique that's a little easier if you have like a slotted spoon or one of those spiders on a um, stick. Uh, you are going to need, ooh, you're going to need a vegetable peeler and cheese grater. And if you're using whole tomatoes, you're gonna want a mixing bowl um, so that we can squish those whole tomatoes and get them to a nice consistency to use in the sauce. Um, finally, if you're going to be using spaghetti and you want to do some fun plating with me, you will need either uh, tongs or a pair of chopsticks. We're going to make it look pretty on the plate. Uh, and that's it. Again, I'm going to put all of this in the description below. Um, don't feel like this is stressful because it's not. <laughs> Whatever you've got at home, we will make it work. I'm super excited to see you on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Instagram, at Meal Prep Fairy. Just click on the logo on the upper, you're backwards, upper left-hand side at 6 p.m. and we'll be live. See you then.